Hey YouTube, Stack Terror here, and in this video I'll be showing you how to get the uh, bear fight achievement in Grand Theft Auto, The Ballad of Gay Tony DLC. So, this achievement, all you have to do is win the uh, Cage Fighters Championship, which is, I think there's five rounds, five or six rounds. The first couple are really easy, and uh, the I mean, a lot of people think this achievement is hard to get. However, I thought it was pretty easy, and I got it after a couple tries. And the only reason I really messed up is a stupid little mistake, which I'll show you in a minute. But uh, it's basically the easiest way to do this is when they're when they they'll spawn outside that fence. What you want to do is punch them, kind of through the fence, and it'll kind of glitch them, and then they won't even like attack you. And so right there, round one, real easy. Here we go round two. Rounds one and two are really simple. You probably shouldn't get hurt that much, although I do right here. But so yeah, that guy I wasn't able to run over the fence quick enough and start punching him. So he got he was able to get in and uh, actually start fighting me. And this guy actually he he took a lot of my health away. And uh, that's fine though, cause I'll show you easy way, um, a good strategy you want to use. Uh, if you lose your health, it's not really a strategy, I should say, but you'll see. And so the only thing you need to worry about while going for this achievement is, um, like, so right there, I, I started getting a little close to, uh, the, like, walking out the fence. If you go too far past the fence, you'll be disqualified and you'll completely lose and have to restart over. So you gotta be real careful not to keep punching. So if you keep punching, you'll just keep punching, and you'll keep pushing forward, and then you'll eventually hit too far. And so, what you want to do right here is, um, if you're weak, go, um, after the round is over, go spectate, or, d or go, like, do the spectate thing, and then you bet on, you know, you go and bet on your fighter, and you have to watch the fight, but once you're once you're done watching uh, the two fighters and betting and stuff, you'll be at full health. So I'll let this play out, and I'm actually fast forwarding fast forwarding this as you can see. All right, so the spectating is over. My fighter won, which is nice. I got a I bet a lot of money, so therefore I won a lot of money. And uh, now that it's over with, I'll have completely full health. And uh, you can do this. You can keep doing this after each round. Uh, I do it twice actually so once again third round uh, I think third round they'll start getting weapons the first guy won't but uh the next guys will and then that's when it gets a little bit tricky because those weapons will do a lot of damage and I kept uh I kept missing this guy he hit me twice but it wasn't too much too much health so that's fine and actually at the end of each round you do get a little bit of health back just a tiny bit but so okay, so now this guy has a bat, and uh, those bats do a lot of damage. You gotta be really careful. And so what you wanna do is you wanna counter just like that, and then you just punch him, and it, you'll automatically steal the weapon from him. And if you get a bat yourself, you can easily uh, knock out these guys. And this guy, I think, he has a knife. Yeah, he's a knife, and uh, those will do a lot of damage as well. And here I'm trying to do the glitch to punch him, well not punch him, but to hit him through the fence, but I, I kept missing, I kept just hitting the fence and not him. But it will work sometimes. So there, third round, nice and easy, fourth round, once again they'll have weapons, he starts out with a bat. Do the little glitch to uh, make sure he's not hitting you. You're able to take away a good chunk of health from him that way. However, since he is a weapon, it doesn't really matter because you're you're gonna need to take it from him anyway. So there, counter, steal it from him, and uh, now you just keep wailing on him. They'll die really quickly. Two hits, nice and easy. I've even killed them in one hit before. Kill this guy. I think he's got a knife. Maybe maybe he doesn't. And right here, now I kept hitting the fence. It wasn't working, so I just let him come through. Uh, if you have a bat or any weapon, you could just let them come through. I mean, you can kill them really easily. Uh, just let them come through, unless you want to be uh, just want to be really careful and not not lose your health. You know, but I mean, if you have a weapon, you shouldn't 
he probably won't be losing health because you can easily kill him. Alright, so that was that. I think I go and spectate again here to get my health back. Which is, yeah, so I'll spectate again. Make I want him uh, for the last few rounds. I want to make sure I have as much health as possible, just in case. So go spectate again. Choose your fighter. You know, we'll sit through this. I'll fast forward this. All right, so my fighter lost this time, which sucks. That's okay. I lost a little bit of money. It's no big deal though. And uh, but once again, I'll be back to full health, and uh, we'll be starting our fifth round. I run over the fence, no, as quick as possible. And uh, I think this might be the last round. There's either five or six. I can't remember. Um, so he's got a bet, and uh, you got to do that counter. You got to do that counter pretty quickly. You don't want to let him hit you that much, because uh, they will do a lot of damage. And this time it actually, I started hitting him through the thing. It actually started working, and then he kind of falls down to the ground. I wanted to be careful not to go out too far and get disqualified, so I'm just gonna let him come through and just start ba uh, wailing on him. Yeah. <laughs> Kept hitting the fence again. If that fence is kind of glitchy too. Sometimes it'll like super shake, and it, it's funny though. But yeah, get a weapon, and just let him come through, and you don't even have to do that flinch glitch, just let him come through, and you can easily kill him. So okay, so this is the sixth round, the final round. Uh, I pretty much have full health, no, not quite, but uh, so I didn't bother spectating, and I, I didn't feel like it was a big deal just for that little tiny bit. And this guy starts out with a knife, so once again, you gotta do the counter on the knife too. And he actually, he slices me a couple times, then I do it get steal it from him and then once you get the knife you could just keep uh, spamming B just keep spamming him uh, right there I almost stepped out of the cage and got disqualified that was really close and uh so once you have the knife like you can easy like they have no e they don't even have a chance because you like you hit so fast they don't even have a chance to hit back you just keep pressing that B button to hit them and they they'll just get stuck and just they'll just get whooped and I think this is the last guy these guys all have knives. Just let them come through. Start just keep spamming that B button. And uh, if you don't know how to do a counter, it's just you just press A, I think. And you can even spam it too. But yeah, there's achievement bear fight. Uh, you're the undisputed champion. Really nice. 